just got home from Walmart for my Walmart haul for the month of August. I can't believe it's August already, but there's some back to school things in here that I'm getting now to put on this shelf just to make things a little bit easier heading into those first week or two of school. So let's go ahead and hop into that. I got three things of heavy whipping cream. Typically I get four. I have one left over from last month, so I didn't quite need four. We use these for gravies. We put these in soups, put these in mashed potatoes. When I make homemade mac and cheese, but I mostly use this for homemade coffee creamer and my coffee in the morning. So this is a month's worth, about four of them. So it averages about one a week-ish, which kind of seems like a lot, but also not really, because we find so many different ways to use this. The wild blueberry muffin mix. We do these once a week for breakfast for the kids during the school year. And then whatever is left over after breakfast, the kids can put in lunch boxes. They can bring to school for a breakfast there or after school snacks. So we use these, like I said, once a week. I We haven't really been using them in the summer, but I've still been buying them to put them up on the shelf just as a storage option. That way we have a little bit of a supply of them. That way if the kids want them more often or whatever, I have them because we do use these a lot. So I wanna make sure that I have them on hand. We had a stint of allergies or a head cold or something like that come through the house. And it made me realize that we didn't have a couple staple cold and flu items in our house. When you have a large family, I have learned the hard way to just stock things that you are going to want or need in the event of some sort of sickness, whether that, that be the flu or really nasty head colds or something like that. I think we all relate to COVID times where maybe some of us were sick and we needed certain over-the-counter things and they just didn't have them because they were sold out. So I try to keep these on hand, especially I've learned that in my military spouse days, there was a season, a flu season, where we were just a family of four back then. All four of us got the worst flu we have ever had i mean ever it was like a three-day flu i mean like full-on three-day flu it was horrendous and because we were military we didn't have family around to like drop off supplies or anything like that this was a time when grocery delivery was not a thing we were very sick and we were miserable and it was bad so after that we started stocking typical cold and flu things in our house so i have these cough drops here i got the ones that the kids like which are um the halls but then me and my husband prefer the ricolas so i got a package of each just to have them here i also have things coming in shipping which are a two pack of blue pedialyte we keep that on hand for when we're sick it seems to be the thing that when we have flu symptoms can help settle things get us rehydrated really quickly and i think it sits better for us personally than like gatorade or something and um if i buy gatorade the kids are going to want to drink it my husband or myself we're going to be more tempted to dig into it versus a pedialyte which is really just going to sit on the shelf we're only going to use it when we're sick so i have that coming i also have a two pack of the pedialyte like dump in waters that you put in water bottles and you shake them up the little packets i have a dual pack of that that way we can have some variety as well um, for if or when we need it so those are coming i also have a big thing of redmond's real salt coming through shipping as well so all that is in this grocery order it's just not here for me to show you another thing i'm stocking up for back to school is peanut butter we go through a lot of peanut butter peanut butter sandwiches so stocking up on that typically we get our tomato soup from aldi they have an awesome organic tomato and basil soup that we love. I haven't seen it in Aldi in three months. So I'm going to try up this Progresso tomato basil soup. I'm very skeptical of it because we love the Aldi one so much, but they just haven't had it. So we're going to try these. I got two cans just to see. The kids really miss it, so we're going to those. This time of year, these tuna packets always go on sale because kids get them for their college dorms and this is also when like hamburger helpers go on sale things like that for those kids that are like just going to college for the first time or being away from home for the first time because they're easy for kids to make by themselves so they don't have a lot of cooking experience so this is the time of year i stock up on these things i've been stocking up on these slowly but surely over the last 
like three months or so. But I got five of the sweet and spicy tunas. This is my favorite. My husband likes the lemon pepper. These are the two we go through the most often. So I got these. These are going on the storage shelf. And there's really nothing more to that. Big thing of sour cream. We go through one of these every month. I got two three pound bags of cuties to add to our like 20 pounds of apples that we got. The kids free range on fruit. This is a go to snack for us. We pretty much always do fruit, yogurt, string cheese, or nuts. Um, berries or homemade snack jars that we do for the homemade snack jars that's where we do all of, like our bakery goods our cookies our muffins our bars things like that those are free range too we make all that in-house so that's how the kids do snacks around here a lot of fruits and vegetables are either coming out of the orchard or uh, the garden right now but I do not grow shelling peas at least not yet. It's something I plan to look into for the future. So we got some sweet peas. You're, this is the only fruit or, veg, or vegetable you're gonna see. Everything else I got from Aldi. I can link that haul down below for you guys if you wanna see. Two things of kettle corn. This is a staple snack for us. And we completely ran out. So I got one for my pantry up here, one for the storage shelf. And I'm gonna keep stocking up on this because I, can, I couldn't believe that we didn't have any. One of my nephews was over recently and he loves popcorn it's his favorite snack that he that we have here and he asked for it and i could not believe i didn't have any so we're gonna keep we're gonna make sure that we keep this good and well in stocked here's two more of the tuna packets but i also got two lemons i have a canning recipe i'm going to do we are going to make rhubarb juice and i needed lemon zest and lemon juice for it and normally I would just use bottled lemon juice, but because it's a recipe that really only calls for the rhubarb, sugar, orange, or our orange zest and orange juice, which I'll use some of those for, and lemon juice and lemon zest, I wanted to get the real stuff. I think it's gonna make it taste better. So I got those. Here we go, Diet Coke. I, it has been very hot recently. We've been spending a lot of time in the orchard and in the garden taking care of everything and nothing hits better than an afternoon cold Diet Coke after working outside for a very long time. So I got these for myself. I got these for the kids. I mean, I'll drink these too. These are awesome. But these are the clear American sparkling waters. We all really love these. The black cherry is our favorite. The kids also love the lemon lime, um, the orange. Some of my kids like the peach. And then the strawberry are also very good. But I got these for us for when the kids are out helping in the garden, helping pull weeds or harvest or anything like that, and they're working hard, they can come in and get a cold black cherry sparkling water. So these are just fun treats for us for now. These are two more things I got for the back to school season. A thing of cereal, another thing of cereal just to put on the storage shelf for those back to school mornings. Our kids never do just cereal on its own for breakfast. I don't really like cereal in general, but the kids really do, so I keep it around for them, but we always do like cereal with a hard boiled egg or a scrambled egg or some fruit, a banana, something like that. So it's never just cereal, never ever. It's never gonna keep them full. It's never gonna keep them satisfied for very long. So if they wanna have a bowl of cereal, that's fine, but we're pairing it with something just to have something of sustenance in them before school. I got a thing of beef ramen. We're still pretty stocked on chicken. I like to keep these stocked. These are also good for when the kids have the flu. Usually their first meal back, they like ramen over like a chicken noodle soup or something. So I got a beef. I have a child in particular who prefers beef. So I got that for her. I also got two things of shrimp. I talked about this in my Aldi haul, but I've been like loosely doing a carnivore inspired diet. Definitely not full carnivore, but I've been doing mostly just meats and whatever's coming out of the garden or coming out of the orchard uh, fresh. So I've been mixing in dairy and stuff too, nuts and things, but I got two small bags of shrimp just to mix up my proteins a little bit. That way I have a little bit more of variety. This is the first month I'm shopping for my carnivore-ish diet. Otherwise, I've been just doing what we have in the freezers. So it's been a lot of fish, a lot of ground beef, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of pork. So I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I got some shrimp. 
for that. I also got a thing of razors, needed those. More clearance and or back to school items. These spinach and cheese tortellini were on rollback. So I think they were for something, a bag. These are the shelf stable ones. I like these a lot. These are almost never on my meal plan, almost never, but we love these in soups or um, for lunches and things. So I got two bags of these for a storage shelf. These are some back to school items. I got two things of Nutella spread. So one will go in the pantry up here. One will go on my storage shelf. Same with these grape jellies. I don't can grape jelly. I can every other type of jelly or jams, but the kids like grape every once in a while. So these are for the storage shelf as well. I got two things of shredded Parmesan. I'm trying to get away from the shaky can of Parmesan cheese. So I got two of these for the month. I don't have a meal plan this month. I talked about that in my Aldi haul. Things have just been a little too unpredictable for me here recently with my husband's work schedule, with nieces and nephews coming over and things like that. It's just my meal plan last month. I spent time putting the meal plan together and shopping for it and then completely threw it out the window. I don't think I used it once. So I decided this month I'm not even gonna waste my time meal planning. I'm just gonna get some basic items that I know we'll use and I am just going to wing it this month grocery shop off of my shelves, off of my freezer, and out of the garden, which is the way it should be right now anyways, because all the produce is fresh. So that's my game plan for now. So I don't even know if I'm gonna use all the Parmesan cheese, but it will hold, Parmesan cheese will last even into next month. So I'm not worried about it going bad. I can always freeze it if I am super worried about it going bad, but I got two of those. I also got a watermelon. This is a highly requested item for the kids. I got, guys, I'm kind of disappointed with this. I don't know, I just thought these were gonna be bigger and better. That's what you get for shopping online, I guess. But I got two things of stew beef, just to mix up my proteins a little bit and get a variety of red meat that isn't just ground beef. So I got two things of stew beef. I also got two things of these sirloin tender steaks. These seem so much bigger and better online. So I don't know, $13 for both of them, just about $13 for both of them. I'm thinking I'll probably do like two of these steaks for a meal and maybe like a handful of shrimp. So two for, you know, probably have six meals here for these for myself and then the kids will have something else. My kids don't really like steak a whole heck of a lot anyways. So we'll see how that goes. Same with these, these are a couple meals worth here for me. So it'll be fine. So. That's what I got. These were a big chunk of my grocery budget or for this haul in particular. So I don't know. We'll see if this continues or not. We're taking a break from string cheese for right now because I have a lot of big five pound blocks of cheese in my freezer. They're taking up a lot of space. So this month we're going to just slice that blocked cheese and that's what the kids are gonna have instead of string cheese. But I did keep the Go-Gurts. We haven't been doing these for a while. So bringing them back. These are the 24 packs. I got four of them. I just put these in the freezer. My kids eat these straight out of the freezer a lot of the time, like a frozen yogurt popsicle. They really like those. And I'll keep one box in the refrigerator so they can have them just as like normal yogurts if they so choose. But these are the strawberry and berry kind. I like to mix up the flavors on them every once in a while just to keep it interesting. But this is what I got this month. I also got two things of goldfish. You guessed it. One for my working pantry. One for my storage shelf for back to school items, easy to throw in lunch boxes. The kids throw these in Ziploc bags, sometimes I bring them to school. So that is that. And this is my entire Walmart haul.